Does semen actually prevent cavities? Hi everyone, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist here to talk about something very different today, but definitely worth discussing, semen and teeth. People really have been asking me and want to know about the rumors going around about semen preventing cavities. As in, there's claims being made that the exposure to semen during oral sex is good for teeth. There have even been claims that their American Dental Association put out a publication that said semen prevents tooth decay. That, my friends, that is completely false. There was no such ADA statement. But since we're on the topic, people still wanna know, is semen good or bad for your teeth? So when we talk about things being bad for teeth, one of the measurements we look at is pH level. The lower the pH, the worse the acidic damage. For instance, the pH level of Mountain Dew is about 3.1, very acidic and very bad for teeth. The pH of neutral water, however, is about seven, very neutral and very good for teeth. And according to the World Health Organization, semen usually has a pH range somewhere between 7.2 and eight, which is incredibly neutral. So definitely not bad for teeth. No acidity equals not bad. So now that we know that semen is not inherently bad for teeth, let's talk about whether or not it is actually beneficial in any way. So semen, besides sperm, semen contains vitamins like C, B12, calcium, magnesium, and a half dozen other nutrients. So like we said, although it is not all unsafe for teeth, it is by no means something we'd say is good for them. Like oral sex is not going to play a role in whether or not you have cavities or whether or not you are prone to tooth decay. Oral sex does, however, significantly impact other types of oral infections. You might have guessed. STDs and STIs. As you probably already know, sexually transmitted infections are transmitted through bodily fluids like semen. So when it comes to your oral health, we have to worry a lot more about STIs and STDs than worrying about tooth decay. Because some of these STIs and STDs can actually manifest themselves inside your mouth along your lips cheeks, tongue, palate, and throat. You've all seen the scary photos in sex ed classes. You know it can contribute to cervical cancers, which can also cause oral or throat cancer. So make sure you're being safe. And one more thing before we go, since we're talking all about this sex stuff, even though semen may not help fight against tooth decay, it's good to know that the state of your mouth can directly impact the function and wellness of your reproductive system. For example, if a man has active periodontal disease, he's more likely to have a lower sperm count, which can make it difficult to reproduce Produce. So managing gum health can actually boost a male's reproductive system to have a better chance at conceiving. We also know that men with chronic periodontitis tend to experience an increased risk of erectile dysfunction compared to men with healthy mouths. So really, semen and teeth, if a man is trying to convince their partner that semen is good for their partner's dental health, it's actually more likely to be the other way around. Just saying, some food for thought. In all, to answer the question, does semen prevent cavities? The answer is no. However, it definitely doesn't cause them. It's just neutral. It's fine in your mouth, it doesn't hurt your mouth at all. But always be sure to be safe because there's always the risk of STDs and STIs. I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe and turn on the notifications if it did. And if you want even more Teeth Talk, you can hang out with me on Instagram at Teeth Talk Girl or check out my website, teethtalkgirl.com. Until next time, peace, love, and teeth.